Lila. Good job. You guys will see this is our um, mommy's homeschool caddy. Did you cut it with the scissors? It should just fall out. She's the first one we made an embossing label for, and it's on her scissors. Each kid's getting a good pair of scissors, so now she's working on uh, Jensen's pair of scissors. Bryson, watch out! No, what guy? Hey, is tomorrow your first day of preschool? No, what guy? Okay, okay, Callie. Tomorrow is what? What's tomorrow? Preschool, first day. Who's your teacher? Guy, yo. Mama. Mama. Okay. What do we have over here? Can you show me what's over here? Oh my goodness! Even though we're homeschooled, we still got a pack pack. And then here's his first day of school outfit. I let the boys pick out a new shirt, even though again we're homeschooled. I told myself we're not oh, missing out on the fun things. Some socks and some shorts that aren't new. Look at Hot Wheels truck shirt. Okay, on to the next. What are what happens tomorrow? School day. What grade are you gonna be in? First grade. First grade. Okay. So. Okay. So I have a bunch of bunch of sit. stuff. Later. I want to show you guys. Okay, we're just gonna show them our first day of school outfit. So. Here's this part. It goes over my shirt. Ooh, it's beautiful. And here's the second part. It goes inside yes, of my dress. Yes, inside of the dress. Mm -hmm. And then I have these shoes. That she definitely had her heart set on. Right? Yeah. Okay. We have my lunchbox and a princess one. Wow. So I have a lunchbox in hand. And see, these are my snack bags. And this is my lunchbox. My nether lunch. Who put all those cute stickers on there? My mama. Is what has like a little tiny bowl. Spoon. Yep. And we got the boys those too because even though we're homeschooling, if we do things where we're out and about, we'll pack their lunch. But Miss Lila gets to go to big kids school, which we've had lots of conversations. Lila, aren't you excited? Yeah. Okay, show the backpack and then we're done. And your water. This is my. Smile Ray. Smile. Water bottle. Let's see. Moving on to my lunchbox. Your what? Unicorns. We got unicorns. Okay. And here's a big part. I love the and color of the big part. Bunch of stuff can fit. You forgot about that. <laughs> bunch of stuff can fit in here. Even this. See. One thing we didn't need, and we're not gonna play with at school. <laughs> no. Okay. And it has. Way too many space. Way so much space, yeah. So it, it has the big circle. The net, the pipe. Another See. zipper. Mm -hmm. Another pocket. Just like my mom, but mine is kind of different though. She's also just like her mama and, and her love for backpacks and all the things. My headphones. Headphones. And you excited? And then when it's school day, I do all of my chores, so I want to show you guys. Do you want to show them our new chore chart? Mm -hmm. Because, come here. Because even though she's not being homeschooled this year, we're still doing all the fun stuff. So if we have, she doesn't have school on Mondays, so if we have a field trip planned, we're gonna try to always make sure it could be a day Lila can. Sometimes that might not help, and, but sometimes you get to go on special field trips at your school that your brothers can't go on, right? Right? Yeah. So sometimes your brothers will go without you. Sometimes we'll get to save it all for you. Mommy's gonna always try. Yeah! Okay? And then all the fun activities like Play-Doh or kinetic sand or art. Mommy's also gonna have it for you when you get home from school, huh? Uh, yeah. Because you love that stuff. So you don't have to miss out. You get the best of both worlds. 
Good deal? Good deal. Because we got to finish our learning plan, right? Can I hold it? Okay, she wants to show you in the homeschool room. Come on, Mama. So, okay. I am... This is my mom's office. This is my chart. So, the first part on my chart, I need to make my bed. Eat what? Dinner. Dinner or breakfast? Breakfast. I need to put my clothes on, get dressed. Then I need to brush my teeth. Put my clothes in the hand pump, do the dirty dishes, and give a hug to somebody, and get ready for school. That's all of what I have. And this part down here is an all of my chores. So, give calories water every day, and check mail. Pull trash cans in. Pull trash cans in. And then after dinner, dishwasher load up. Dishwasher load up. So when you see those X, no, 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 yes, no. And then to hang it up, a... which Bryson has one too, but his hook fell down. See. Okay, you go get in bed, I'll be there in a second, okay? Okay, sir, what happens for you tomorrow? I Again. homeschool. Again, the Cali girl's here in the way, in the way, in the way. So tomorrow is what? Homeschooling. All right, you got a back to school outfit. And what is that shirt looking like? Show it, come Keep close. Keep it real. Keeping it real, with real being like a fishing reel because Jensen absolutely loves to fish. Go ahead, turn it back around. Perfect, lay it back out. Okay, you excited for um, your mean, mean, mean teacher tomorrow? Mom, <laughs> I'm not have No, but we're gonna have fun and we're all learning together this year, right? Figuring things out? Yeah. Tomorrow's our first start to homeschool. And we're excited, right? Mm -hmm. I know one, one thing that's excited that there'll be people around all the time. Callie. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're trying to not wake up the boys, but I'm gonna help get Lila ready. It's her idea to um, be in her pajamas and the door transition, you'll see. She's just doing her morning stretches. I love it. Let's do your hair. No, it's my hair. Ooh, let me see your hair. Give it a spin. Ooh. Okay, and now the boys are up. Look down, look down on the camera. I know, your guys' vitamin C. Four more stuff I need to do. Look at back to school outfits. Look at every kid is dressed. It's seven in the morning. Okay, every kid is dressed. They've all have their teeth brushed. I feel my cup. Their dirty cups from bedtime are in the sink. Mm. Oh, I'm getting a hug. It's give a hug. Oh, Lila's giving me my hug. It's choose a person or a dog or a stuffed animal, whatever you want to give a hug to in the morning. Oh Daddy! Everyone give a hug, cross your hug off. Can you give a hug to the wall? <laughs> Trying to be good about this camera. Lila's off to school, and I just took a billion pictures of the boys. Tristan's here, and Adam happens to be off. 
um, and they just brought donuts and one for Lila for when she gets home. Um, so Samantha's in charge of homeschool preschool today. We're gonna alternate weeks. Hey, what the heck? Preschool homeschool! I literally am gonna forever call her teacher TT. Good job, boys. Remember how we did our Pledge of Allegiance earlier? Can we do it again? Yeah. Okay. Take this hand, wiggle your hand, wiggle your hand, wiggle your hand, now go up. Keep it open. Good morning on this vlog that is kind of a mess. We had our first day of homeschooling. Um, I want to do a homeschool day in the life, but not until the full homeschool is here. Um, tonight is our parent like get together for the co-op, family get together. That's tonight, but Tuesday, next Tuesday is when the co-op actually starts. Mm -hmm. But this morning we just have Bryce. He's got a snack. And he just did, where'd your name chart go? Oh. He just did his name chart, which I, I made this for him and I made one for Tristan. So he got that done. Um, I just put these math manipulatives for the lessons this week in here for Jensen. This came with our Rebecca. Um, eventually his memory work from the co-op will be up there too. I have this week's Bible verse. And then this is like Bryson's side. So we're learning, I want to master zero through five where he could find it even out of sequence. Colors in our shape of the week. Why am I out of breath? Harry is off today and he has <clears throat> he has Jensen out um, fishing at one of the ponds nearby. So we have math and his language arts lesson here. Um, and then hopefully we'll finish the countertop to this today. I'm gonna do an entire tour of the homeschool office, but um, I need to get ready. Nice. Maybe his cute pack pack, water, her lunch all ready to go. And day four of first grade she's a very busy mom and can we see this cute outfit some high top come elsa converse look at this adorable like this girl has the cutest little fashion so look at this look how cute but look this is in the boys section at target oh, the beginning of summer and has this like stitched on snoopy patch and plenty of time fram and papa went to the airport they're Christoph. on their way to montana Kristoff's here Christoph. yeah yeah, Christmas. she's this else. time that I miss Lila, but I know she's she comes home with so many stories. She doesn't like there's no don't send me, I want to stay home with you. Like, there's none of that going on where it's like a dreadful thing to take her to school because I would have a really hard time with that. She's loving it, okay, and she's getting what she needs with her IEP. It's me that's struggling, um, and missing her. But we come home and we do a bunch of family stuff all together and I save the fun stuff. Like today we're making cake pops and I save that kind of stuff till she's home. After this, you guys could jump in this trampoline and get dry. Okay, same day. I don't even know if you guys, I don't know where, where was I last, but I vlogged earlier today. I am in my homeschool office, which, I plan to give you guys a tour on maybe my next video, but I, week one, week one of homeschooling and I'm making a lot of changes. <clears throat> um, stuff that's working really, really well that I'm about to print is the kids chore charts. Unreal how great they are. I'm going to show you. I'm about to laminate them. But here's Lila. So morning tasks, nighttime tasks. This is something I've just edited. Instead of calling them chores, we're calling them tasks because this is like a part of a routine that's just good to be a habit of. Not necessarily is it a chore. It's something you should do daily. What's happening here? Why aren't you printing? I have learned just how visual my kids are. So I laminate this, erase it, but they exit off in the morning one by one as they do the things. My mornings have never gone this smooth. For Lila to get off to school, for Jensen to get started for the day, for Bryson, he's kind of just like bebopping around following along, but he's definitely picking it up and getting it. Our co-op doesn't start till uh, Tuesday. We had our co-op orientation last night. I think it's gonna be wonderful. Um, and that's where all the other subjects are hit on. So I'm in charge of language, arts, and math on my own. The other subjects will be hit on on the co-op and then they help with like what we do during the week. I have a bunch of stuff here too that I've bought. Uh, for going along with the co-op. So all these papers are just assessment tests that Jensen's been taking because like I said, 
things aren't going like I had hoped, I'm gonna be laminating. I've heard so many homeschoolers be like, in the first year I started with this, I switched it to this, cause this wasn't working for this kid. And so I'm pretty sure I'm on track with just being a normal newbie homeschooler mom. But um, I'm not loving my curriculum. <laughs> I'm not. Um, and every time I reach out to someone, they recommend the good and the beautiful. And so I went and I've looked at the curriculum in depth for just the two subjects and pretty much, and also I've reached out to you guys. I know many, many homeschoolers um, and I'm just learning more homeschoolers. And in the co-op I've met homeschoolers and I have friends from high school that homeschool, my sister-in-law homeschools. Um, and so I don't just jump into something without doing my research. So from a Christian perspective, it sounds like in the history portion of The Good and the Beautiful, there's a couple things that other than that, it's very Christian biblically based, um, which is what I would like for my kids. So, and I would know what to look for if I wasn't thinking it was Christian biblically based curriculum. Um, and I know some people choose to not have faith based curriculum and that's okay. I'm, there's, I'm not opposed. It's just Homeschooling is what works for you and your home and what you want in your child's education. Um, so I did take the assessment test for Good and Beautiful. I'm looking at a few other, um, I know there's a lot of other, so even my Abeka, I, I'm not liking how every day we're learning something new without doing any sort of review. Um, so it's like, and they're like big things, like multiplication, rounding numbers, uh, grouping, and things like that where I'm like, we're just gonna, we're just like going really fast in the, if I was just to follow the lessons and not slow it down myself. Um, I did a Becca, I am a huge fan of Becca. I grew up on it. Um, so I'm kind of like disappointed that that's not, I'm not liking that. It's like new thing, new thing, new thing, new thing, new thing, new thing. Like I'd rather him new thing introduced, get comfortable with it move into another new thing while continuing to review the old thing um which it does a tiny bit but it doesn't it doesn't so i think it's just really like a lot a lot of new and so all that to say i think i bought all the wrong curriculum <laughs> which is a bummer because it's expensive to buy curriculum you have buy all these readers you buy manipulatives you buy the books you buy the teacher keys um and I'm not just like made of money. We budget very wisely, but it's just it's so frustrating when something's a wash of money. So I did post the Abeka curriculum for sale um, at a very good price for the whole thing. And just said the first five lessons are done, but it's in the teacher's guide if you would want to like see it there and copy it or whatever. Um, it's a good deal what I'm selling it for. And then same for my language arts. I'm, I can't sell that one because he's written, written in them, whereas like the Abaca one, you pull it out and the worksheet's out of the book. But I don't know what to do with that one. It's just a bummer because like I wasn't planning on, like I mean, no one ever buys, spends that much money on anything thinking I am not gonna like this. Like, but you know, that's part of homeschooling. We're gonna find out what works for our family and what does not work. And um, Jensen is loving homeschool. I went to Lila's school today, popped into her classroom, brought her teacher a copy. Um, I think I'm gonna love the new teacher, said hi to Lila's old teacher, which we love very, very much, and he was with us with us through a lot last year with Lila's surgery. Um, and Lila's doing amazing, loves her teacher, um, and is doing fantastic in school. And my sister and I alternate planning the preschool weeks, and we try to do preschool Tuesday, Thursdays, one, one on our own and one at each other's house every other week. Um, so like this week she planned and tomorrow we go to that, her house, next week I plan and she'll come to my house on just one of those days, a Tuesday or a Thursday. Um, so it makes it pretty simple for both of us and also really fun. Anyways, here are the kids' chores and now they just, these ones are going to get trash. <laughs> I didn't even, I had it like cut and pasted and everything. So, um, now this is more of like a master, I liked what we had, made it, what is it, perfected it. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog because I want to get this up uh, at the right time, which is almost the end of the first week of homeschooling. I'm going to uh, get some housework done, pick up Lila, we're gonna go swimming while the pool's still open, and enjoy the rest of the evening with dad being off work. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I look forward to more vlogs and homeschool stuff, and 
figuring this all out with your guys' help because you guys have been very helpful in my comments and my messages and encouraging and all the things. So I appreciate you guys and I hope you guys are having a great week and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.